Hi guys. <laughs> what do you feel when your spa or your friend gets and you don't get? Mm-hmm. You are both searching, she gets and you don't get. What is the feeling, guys? Um your friend is a lady, you are also a lady, and um you are both searching. She gets and you don't get. What's the feeling, guys? <laughs> Uh, friendship should always remain. You should always remain friends, irrespective of who gets what and who doesn't get. But I've come to realize that there are some people who get detached from you because you got a spouse or you got a car or you got a house or you got a baby and they didn't get. You have been friends since your school days and um, you've gone through uh, thick and thin together you have uh, walked the journey together of life but you get to know to find out that most of the times you are stuck you are stuck there but this one of yours is the lucky type recently she gets she got married um you are still single the other day she got a baby you still don't have a baby after getting the baby she bought a house you're still renting uh, your, 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 your space. And now, uh, they have bought a car. <laughs> and you feel like this person is not going to be my friend anymore. Guys, has it ever reached that time that you feel that way? We are all human, guys. Uh, be sincere, guys. Do you sometimes feel like this person has gone too far that I don't even think I can fit in her equation? Does it reach that time that you feel, I don't think this friendship is going to continue. I don't think it's going to work because now this person is, is not of my caliber. And does it also reach a time when you who is blessed this way also starts getting detached from your friend because they don't have and you have. Do you find also like you have re reached a level where you don't need those those classes of people who are a little lower than you are, and you feel like, ah, this old friend of mine doesn't make a move, is not lucky, has not made a step since the time we, we, we used to be, um, to spend time, not that you used to, no, not to spend time, since, you know, she has not made a step in life. And here I am, I've gone too far. Look at me now, I'm a married woman. I don't think I need single ladies for friends. Look at me now, I have a child. Do I need somebody who doesn't even have a, a, a spouse? Not even a child. I don't think she's going to fit to be my friend. And do you also feel like, ah, she walks and I drive. Lives in a rented house and uh, here I am owning a... Do you feel like you have been raised to a class that you don't need them? Those that don't have. This is life. This is life. And life is very, 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 very funny. It can twist this way today and tomorrow twist the other way. Guys, I'm thinking a friend is always a, a blessing. Be it, uh, and especially that own friend of yours that you have always had. Uh, it doesn't matter what this person has or doesn't have. Is this If this person has been with you all through your life, has been your friend. I don't see why you should uh, um, sideline them because of what they have or what they don't have. In the case of this one who feels like um, I don't, I'm not as blessed as my friend whom, who, whom I've, I've called a friend for so many, many years. I'm not as blessed and I'm thinking I should detach myself from them because they are too blessed to work with me or to consider me as a friend. I don't think this should be the case. If this person is still willing to keep you as a friend, even however blessed they are, Continue being their friend because friendship is, is, is very, very important. And you can never buy friendship with money unless this person doesn't want the, you in, your, in, in their lives. And if you are this other person who is so blessed that you feel now, those that used to be my friends are, not, are, are, now, not my friend, are now not of my caliber anymore. I don't need them in my life. I think you are making a big mistake because um, you don't climb the tree from up there. Everybody starts from down here. And times are different. You can be blessed today and tomorrow I'll be blessed. So if it is your time now that you are blessed this way and you are up there, 
you never know about tomorrow. This person that you are maybe down looking here may, may climb as well and also uh, get to go up there and, and make something out of themselves. And one day you can also come down and you'll meet them and say, hey, this is the person I disregarded because of uh, this and that. I think uh, you should always remember that uh, friendship is never bought with money or property. If somebody is your friend, you should feel very, very blessed to have them. And um, uh, keep them at all costs. Keep them at all costs. Invite them in your functions, however, however poor you may be. Invite that wealthy one. And however rich you are, invite that old friend of yours who doesn't have something. Because friendship can never be bought with money. This is a word of advice, guys. If you are new here, please subscribe. And uh, we are welcome to this channel. Please subscribe. And if you are returning, you are my buddy. You have worked with me this journey. Thank you for coming back. So now, guys, always keep friendship irrespective of what what you have as in property or money or what. If a person is your friend, always sustain them and keep them and retain them because you may meet them. If you are up there, you may, may meet them as you are coming down. And if you are down here, you may meet that other one as you are going up. So always keep your friendship and uh, let it not be monetary, but let it be a something of the heart. Pray for one another, love God, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.